Hey guys, I'm back with our last interview today, Miguel, and I've seen you from the very beginning of 414, just involved in the challenge community with the 100X and Crush It and Coach It and just tons of areas. And you are a community person. You love to help people get their yeah. answers. I see that often. And so I'm excited to be able to have you come on Find Challenges and share a little bit about you and what brings you to the challenge world and what brings you to do this challenge specifically. So where would you <laughs> like to start? <laughs> Thank you so much, Stacey. Um, yeah, so those were some kind words, you know, uh, more than deserved. But uh, yeah, so I'm here running the Break Up With Your Boss Challenge. And uh, uh, it's a challenge, you know, that I think God tricked me into it. You know, <laughs> if, I, if, I'm, if I'm doing real talk, you know, I, I, I really, I've been spending, you know, my last uh, few years working with CEOs, corporate executives, you know, thrive, 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 make more money, make more income right in corporate. Um, and, and I've done that and I've been successful at it. And that allowed me actually to quit my full-time job, right? I've had favor there. But I can't say, you know, that uh, I love my who, you know, all secular world, any CEO, you know, go, go. <laughs> go because i have an mba you know corporate yeah. background trouble over the world and that's giving me favor so god recently you know really tricked me with uh uh someone someone was asking for help you know around enrollments and around selling and growing their coaching business and i'm like okay i'm just gonna ex extend a hand you know like you said mm -hmm. let me just help out this person and then uh this person loves so much you know just our encounter and the in the training that She's like, wow, this like changing. And then she started getting results. And I'm like, okay, wow. So there, there might be something here. Maybe God wants me because I love Christians. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. focusing on Christian coaches because I think we, we multiply the impact, you know, in the world. So I'm like, okay, I love this lady. I love what she did. And then that spread out, right? And it turned into more people asking and more momentum. And I'm like, okay, so let me, let me see if I can focus on then perhaps on growing my business by helping these people who I really love while wow. I continue with my corporate lane, of course, right? And helping yeah. on that. So does that help that's answer awesome. that? That's awesome. <laughs> like, that's exciting to celebrate, you yeah. know, stepping out. Even this week, I've heard someone just quit their job two weeks ago from five years, a young guy. Wow. You probably know him, Kareem. He's very public I about it. I saw his Yeah. <laughs> and, and he's in my family room. So it was kind of cool. Like I lead a family room with this group of challenges, the hundred access so cool. for those of you who don't know. And so cream was sharing so cool. that. And I was like, wow, like how bold to be able to step out from something you've been under. Like I'm even starting to train in a ministry thing with someone and then they have rules. Right. And I'm like, I found myself being offended. Like I found myself being offended this morning. Just how, I must say, I was like, <laughs> Like what you're gonna make me do what? Like you know, and I was thinking, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna, I so I wrote back, I'm gonna respect and honor, you know, yes. your protocol. But I was yes. thinking, this isn't my comfort space. That's you it. You know, that's I don't it. like <laughs> feeling like that, and that's exactly why you're doing this challenge, because right. we settle, we settle for someone telling that's us it. what to do. And here's the thing: break up with your boss, right? It might sound like, oh, it's quitting your job. And it is. For me, that was one of my biggest bosses, the corporate, right? Yeah. And honestly, I don't know if I've said this before, but I had like uh, three to five years worth of income like that I could not make a dollar and I could be okay, not work, you know, no. to how, how much of a boss I made it. That I needed yeah. years, you know, of lane to feel comfortable with stepping out on faith. Yeah, stepping out on courage in what I wanted to do. Okay, so wow. that was a key boss for me. But we all have different bosses, right? Some people it may be, you know, watching sports all week. Okay, for some people, mm -hmm. it might be, you know, ministry, just spending three quarters of their week on ministry. Okay, for some people, it may be their kids, right? They're spending with their kids 80 hour weeks, 70 hour weeks. But at the same time, they're like thinking like, hey, why is my business not thriving? So the whole theme around the breaking with, up with your boss is like we all have bosses, uh, internal good. and external. Yeah. Internal bosses are fear, shame, self-doubt that they're harder to spot. And we need a mentor or a coach to kind of spot them for us. We think we know them, 
but we don't overcome them, right? So that's the internal, but there's external bosses, right? Which are that the the obvious ones, but but we call them like noble obstacles or hiding places because they seem great. You're yeah. like, hey, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go help this community, or I'm gonna nope. have, go help this, or uh, I'm gonna write a book about this thing. But we're more often than not running away from the most courageous thing that we need to do for our business. Okay, Whoa. so so. So, so, so the key thing here is identifying the 80-20 because uh, here's the bigger question. Does everybody believe that success is really in your business? 80% you know, mindset, resourcefulness, inner game or however you want to call it, right? And 20% mechanics because most people that are coming into the challenge, they're like, oh, I just need to know how to get more clients or how yeah. to post this or how to, how to tweak that. Yeah. I've never encountered someone that it was just the mechanics. It's, it, it, nine out of 10. It's exactly the, the this inner world, okay? And yeah. I'm really passionate about uncovering these these strongholds yeah. that that uh wow. that help people get the breakthrough. That's a good gift to have. You know, I have had revelation this year, and I shared this on another interview a while back, but it was so huge. I just heard God say to me, You organize, because I was managing my kids in entertainment, okay, and they had all we're talking the emails that came in and I'm, I'm managing like eight to 10 accounts, my own, you know, and I was like, I, my, I was making lists. So I was coloring, color coding, and I was missing the most important things, but I want, I organized them according to topic. I felt so good. Then I was spending right. days, like I'm in Hollywood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm spending days on my computer organizing email right. in subject, in topic. And life circumstances made me quit off the computer that way. But then I came into 100X. And just a few months ago, I was, I was in the kitchen and I heard organizing is just taking the pieces and keeping them in place. Hmm. But structuring is taking the pieces and building something. Ooh, that's and powerful. I was like, like, it's like a touche, right? Right. And God said to me, you've been hiding. <laughs> I am organizing. Oh, there you go. That's a so boss. My house is organizing. <laughs> organizing. But there you go. You just, that's it. Yeah. Some people, right? But it's hard to see or spot on. It was. But it's more likely, more like, more often than not is the case. Okay. Th yeah. These things. Well, you feel like so, you're actually accomplishing something. You actually feel exactly. like exactly I worked it, so hard today. I'm never done. And everybody's like, "Well, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing on the computer all that time?" And that's the thing. Our brains are wired chemically to reward these completion things, right? Dopamine yeah. is released, so we're, we're constantly getting hits, you know, to just do these little things to feel that we're accomplishing something. Wow! But but in reality, the dreams of our heart, who we're called to be, uh, is not getting accomplished, right? So Whoa. so that's that, right? And then and then the whole thing about like, okay, how to build your thriving coaching business is okay. Once you break up with these bosses, right? Then you have a chance of what I call like. Uh, more the high ticket uh, program, right? Which is less clients serving them at a higher level as a coach and or a mentor, okay? But you can't do so serving all these bosses, right? You got to really show up, right? And serve this, a fellow human being. So for me, I never made a dollar of a books, courses, challenges, anything while I was in corporate. It was simply mastering right what i want to teach in this challenge and, and showing up serve a, a fellow human being ask great questions connect to their pain getting them to an outcome and then the, i i made six figures off of that yeah. right just showing up at a high level so it's wow. really it's really less clients you right stepping up at a higher level right and then magic can happen when you enroll someone on the phone and they know that you're confident they know what you have to bring and they know you can help them solve a problem then you 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 can open because it, it's like hey uh, if you have a kid right stacy right uh, how many kids do you have i know you have, I have many. four adult and then a baby a two-year-old baby yes. yeah <laughs> let's grab the two-year-old baby hypothetically okay so the two-year-old baby which i know the context right that imagine um that baby uh needed to learn uh or was struggling with something let's not let's let's just call out one of your older kids i don't want to like mess with the baby let's say a 10 year old kid 
the, the 10 year old kid, right, is maybe struggling with self esteem and maybe struggling with bullying at school. And the kid's traumatized, and then the kid is maybe hiding behind video games now, right? Yeah. And in that whole thing, you're as a parent, you're spending years, right? Years yeah. with that kid, right? Hiding behind video games. They, they don't listen to you, they're not connecting with you, right? And here comes Stacy, right? Hypothetically, right? This lady <laughs> goes, goes, talks to this mom, right? And tells her like, hey, I was that kid, right? Because we all have a, a, a story that we've overcome, right? Yeah. But if you can bring your coaching skills combined with the mentorship skills that you have power. So you show up, right? You're like, hey, I, I this kid, you know, I was that kid. This is what's going on. And you describe the problem better than they can as a parent. Wow. there's power there and you're yeah. like hey no one's gonna pay me high ticket 3k 5k 10k is that true stacy like if your daughter or son right was really not listening to you or struggling and you had a car park yeah. that's worth 20k 30k how human is that to not invest a little bit on your kids so that they can thrive does that make sense so it's a, it's, a, it's an sense. excuse that no one will pay the problem yeah. is that we don't show up confidently as coaches right to yeah. really really connect them to the truth on how important it is to get uh, over the problem. Wow. And it's like, it's like, what are you hiding behind? Right? Yes. Like, uh, <laughs> sometimes I, I find like, I just need downtime, but I'm not doing the, the quiet that I need. And so yes. I'm still overstimulated and then I can't create. So I find every day I'm like, I say to my husband, <laughs> how did I not get anything done? That yes. moves me towards my dream, right? Do you do you know why, Stacy, that happens so often? I don't know if you know, but I think eight or nine, eight or nine out of ten, or eighty to ninety percent of people already quit on their goals for the year, or they don't have goals for the rest of the year. The statistics show. So when I talk to people, often they don't have a goal by the end of the year. They don't have the clarity or the urgency or the necessity to get towards a goal. So what happens when? you don't have a goal or a sense of urgency to get something then your bosses emerge right then you can get distracted then you can get these other things okay. so 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 part of uncovering what the bosses are is really understanding where do you want to go and who are you called to be and what level of urgency because mm -hmm. the bosses emerge is to fight with a level of urgency and if you have no urgency you have no clarity where you want to be and there's no necessity then these bosses are going to win the battle That's so true because <laughs> this is what i've been like urgent for a year Okay. And then something's got set back. And then I'm looking going, I don't have that same inspiration. And other mm. people have moved on that were in that nucleus with me. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, like the tribe is changing. So your support group changes. And then you're like, how did I end up like, you know, how did I end up alone again when I just thought I built this whole community? Because I obviously built huge community and people love you and you love them but it's like you're changing you know yes they knew you with a different mindset but right. as you're going out of that and changing and building strengths and you know you don't always fit in the same that's it. nucleus and yes. i think that i'm in the process of like the another caterpillar you know what i mean i didn't hear <laughs> i didn't know that so i was just talking to you but i think i'm in that other a, a new caterpillars emerging into a butterfly and it feels yes. like how to end up alone again because i was actually thinking how did i end up where i'm doing something for free again that's it no that's I'm it like, oh, how did i end up <laughs> so i don't so. want to take that phone call i don't want to dm with this specific person and yet that's oh it. it's familiar See? So, you know so, another boss so right one thing one thing to add to that right is hey hey like we all let you have the clarity you have dreams you know what you want right but you're not getting there you know i'm an engineer by trade an industrial engineer and we're very good with time right and yeah. creating continuous improvement in organizations right uh, like like help helping build cultures of excellence okay wow. over time i got fascinated with time 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 yeah. So the Bible says, you know, I'm not going to get too religious here, right? But the Bible says, hey, where your heart is, your treasure is also, right? Mm -hmm. We have two very precious resources. What are they, Stacy? <laughs> what are the resources? <laughs> Time is one. Life. And, 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 <laughs> life and money is another one, right? Yeah, money. money, right? If I talk to someone, right, 
more often than not, hey, you're not where you want to be. And you ask, hey, where are they spending their time? The time leads to the bosses, right? So if you tell me, hey, I want to get here, but I'm only spending two hours a week, perhaps, on my business, right? Or I'm only spending 10 hours, or I'm watching training only, and I'm not doing these things. So so like your time is a gauge of where your bosses are, right? So if you're spending wow. 35 hours, 40 hours on something, that's a sign on what your boss is, right? Same with your money. If you're not investing in training or learning and you're investing it in vacations and going away and new cars, then you know your real boss is significance or getting others to, to, to recognize you or see you as good. Does that make sense? So time and money lead, lead to where those bosses are too. Can you see that? Yeah. So I think that a huge part for us, those of us who are parents, um, like I've been just really challenged, like my husband is with the baby right now. So many times he can't get what he needs done and I can't get what I need done. And we couldn't have a babysitter up until now. So we basically had a babysitter three times in almost two years. So you can understand how frustrating that is. Um, so I'm going to go looking for my time right yeah so i don't if, feel if like you have clarity if you yeah. have clarity on where you want to go but yeah. what happens often uh, is since you don't have the urgency you're a coach right you said right so you yeah. have some sense of like right but but most people don't they they think okay i have the kids and then 10 years go by right 15 yeah. years go by and they didn't realize that the one thing that was holding them back from that next level was perhaps it's it's i'm not against kids i have two of my own and i love kids but when you hide behind something and then complain that your business is not thriving right that's when the congruence as a coach we come in come, come to jesus moment and then we we get to break through amen Miguel, i've lived this with four adult kids i hid <laughs> behind them their whole life so i'm hey, not gonna hey, do hey, that hey, 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 i don't wanna i don't wanna not saying those things stacy okay no they, no we, it's we all have, it's yeah, good. yeah. It's good. Yes, it's okay. it, it's okay. because it's it's a recognizing recognizing of that's not the life I want to live, and that's not the life someone else wants to live. And I'm speak I'm sharing that because there's so many women and men, like my husband and I. You know, your kids are little, right? Like yeah, little small ones. But as your kids show a talent, or you know, it just makes sense. But you. It consumes you, and I'm telling you, it right. consumes you, and it is your boss, and that's what I understand you're saying is we always put our kids, and we're right. and we're getting older, and we're not finishing, we're not, we're not. That's it. Living living the finished life, like Pedro would say, right? You you know I love using this analogy. It's like it's like the Egyptians, right, uh, and going to the promised land, right? Uh, mm -hmm. For those that don't know, right, in the whole bible right like moses gets the egyptians right takes them to the to the to the promised land but here the egyptians right they spent 40 years fighting god right 40 years right clinging to their bosses right their bosses could have been hey if only i could go back to this or hey right so bosses bible calls it idol sometimes right and then yep. often right he crushes those right oh your kid's an idol kill him right do this right so it's like he was testing constantly because at the end of the day what we want to do is follow our calling from god right yeah. whether that's serving as a stay-at-home mom that may be it but if you find in your heart that something's not sitting well yeah. and god's calling you to something greater then the key is to to break through those mm. to make sure you, did you know that that same journey that took 40 years should have taken 11 days <laughs> oh, that's terrible. it's an 11 day journey okay and wow. it took 40 years and the worst part at the end, they cling to their bosses so much, right, that they didn't make it to the promised land, right? So, so your bosses can literally hold you back from the promise that God has for you, right? So, yeah. so, so that's what I'm really passionate about. It's like, hey, uh, let's 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 unearth those so that the journey towards the calling, the promised land that that you have, right, can be accelerated and not wandering the desert, clinging to the bosses and complaining, why am I not there? Why am I not there? <laughs> that, this is exactly. so awesome what you're doing it's a really big need and i love your passion for it and i'm excited is this your first challenge yep it is my first Eight. challenge again I'm, I'm doing this you know to 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 serve right 
We'll see, yeah. we'll see where it leads. <laughs> yeah, it was hard for him to come on this interview, but look at how natural he is. Uh, so there you go. Thank you, you for you inviting me. Natural, you just have a natural ability to bring wisdom and because it's already been birthed inside of you. And so you're gonna bring inspiration and wisdom and encouragement. I mean, you've encouraged me on this interview. So I'm thankful that you came on and did this because <laughs> I I needed to hear this as well. You know, wow. what are the bosses in my life? And um, I'm not too- They're always evolving. <laughs> They're always evolving. They're always yeah. evolving, right? Yeah. So we just, gotta, we just gotta watch out for them. Well, there's different seasons that we- Exactly. I feel God saying, these are the things I want you to focus on and the other things let go. And yes. and that's that's where I'm in the process of letting the bosses go, like firing my bosses. That's it. That's it. That's it. You got I it. I love it. You've nailed it. You've nailed it. I love it. <laughs> that's the 80 to 90 percent. Not why did this thing happen and the leads and writing the, the thing, right? Or posting the thing. Uh that that's we should work on those, right? And bring the strategy, of course. The leads, the talking to the clients and all that great stuff. Yeah. All right. No. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm for this. Guys, you're gonna to wanna to check out this challenge just to get encouraged and inspired. Miguel, what what is uh, the time that you're going live tonight? What time is it at? Yeah, you, thank you for inviting me today to do this. It's uh, it's uh, today at 8 p.m. Eastern. And okay. then it's www.bossbreakup.com. And uh, I think it's in the, in the, in the link, you know, of the post. So uh, there you can check it out. If it's a fit, right? If you're struggling, right? You're a Christian trying to grow, to grow your coaching business, you know? Uh, this week is really about transformation, not more information, right? Because uh, so often, right? We join just an event and this and that. Like, I promise you, if you show up and do the work, we're gonna uncover some bosses, right? And then uh, show you a path, you know, a path that from this place of freeing ourselves with bosses, how you can thrive in your coaching business with a, with a different way. Uh, that takes a little bit less work uh, outside, but internally it takes more work. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Can you just pray us uh, out today um, oh, for sure. the people? Just just praying for the people who give them the courage, give that we would have the courage to, you know, fire those bosses and to step up yes. and do the destiny and dream God's called us to. Yes. You want me to pray? Yes. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for our time today. Uh, you you are always in control and uh, you you prompted Stacy's heart, you know, invite me here. And uh, it took courage for me to be here, right, Lord? And uh, I just I just want to thank you, you know, that this message uh, may, may, may reach those, you know, that it may serve. Uh, we know that there's one boss that we don't want to break with. <laughs> Uh -huh. And that's you, Lord, right? So we submit to you as our main boss. And at the end of the day, you know, for us Christians, that's what we want, right? Right? That serve one boss, and that's you, right? So uh, help us uh, uh, see with clarity, you know, what those bosses are in our lives, those idols, right, that um, are holding us back, you know, and those are weapons of the devil holding us back from becoming who, who you have called us to be. So uh -huh. um, we pray for wisdom, you know, this week for those that uh, you want to be served. I pray that uh, the Holy Spirit flows through me, right? That is not a lot of Miguel, but a lot of you through me uh -huh. uh, towards those that could serve it. And uh, and I thank you uh, for blessing us, for being here today with gratitude. You know, we're here uh, just thankful for this time. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jesus. What a way to close the day. Thank you, Miguel. I, I'll check out what I can. Um, I'm, learning okay. to, I'm learning to not do everything, but... <laughs> I, it's, it's me, but you're what you're doing here. So even if I have to catch the replay on fast speed, yes. <laughs> I'll try my best awesome. to to awesome. see what I can check out. Thank you for coming today, and God bless you. You got it. Thank you. What you're doing is great. Thank you, Stacy. Take you. care. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs>